This episode of The Young Turks brought to you by Squarespace. A civil, civil union law in Illinois, it's a new law that uh, just passed this year that would allow gay couples to adopt children, right? Great law, there are lots of foster children out there that need adoptive parents. Um, but it turns out that one of the organizations in Illinois, it's known as the Catholic Charities, uh, which has more than 3,000 children in foster care right now, uh, does not want to comply with this law. They said that they refuse to comply with it. If any gay couple comes to their organization looking to adopt a child, they're going to refer that gay couple to another uh, organization that will cater to them. To a gay-friendly adoption agency. Yes. Right. Um, and, it, and they're saying, look, 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 it, it goes against what we believe in, so we don't want to listen to the law. We'll refer these people somewhere else, right? Except the only problem is that the state of Illinois uh, currently funds that organization with $30 million each year. Yeah, so this is, a, to me, a really, really tricky case. It is. Um, because I, I'm actually a little sympathetic to Catholic charities here. Because first of all, they're doing a great thing. Mm -hmm. You know, they're putting these kids in foster homes. They're trying to get them adopted. You know, I mean, you can you can criticize the Catholic Church for a whole bunch of things, but they do a lot of great charitable work, and they do believe in some terrible things. Among them, that gay people are going to hell, mm -hmm. um, and th their their hostility toward gay rights is shameful. But I don't know that we should punish the kids for this and we could withdraw and then you got this whole church and state separation issue like maybe we shouldn't be funding them but they you know and arguably we shouldn't because that's a giant mixing of church and state but they do do the good work that other people don't do yeah. so they're probably worthy of getting the funding yeah it, it's definitely not a black and white situation right. okay because they do have thousands of children in foster care right now what they're doing is good they're not they're organization is denying the gay couples uh, the right to adopt, right? But at least they're referring the gay couples to organizations that would help them adopt. In the end, what I'm concerned about is not the organization itself. I'm concerned about the kids that the organization is helping, right? So if we cut state funding from these kids, uh, from this organization, the kids ultimately are the ones who are going to suffer. If like maybe that money can be redirected to someone else. Like if there's a way to redirect the money and not hurt kids in any way, but the Catholic Charities, I'm sure they use the money well. I don't think they're not embezzling it. They're not, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. it's a tough one. If the, if the referral process is a really true, pure referral process, mm -hmm. maybe that's okay, you know. But their question, they're, they're saying, hey, look, it's against our belief system. That I don't care about. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, yeah. I get it. I know why they're doing it, but like, yeah, okay, well, your belief system is screwed up, and you're getting fed, you're getting state money, mm -hmm. and we have a separation of church and state, which means maybe we shouldn't give you the money in the first place. But if you're using it for secular purposes, getting the kids adopted, man, it's it's a tough one. Then the question, though, at the end, which is really the fascinating one, is like, what happens to these? Um, they, they got 1,500 kids in foster homes, right, and another 1,500 in adoption agencies, right. so 3,000 kids overall. So what happens to these kids? Because they, they're using this money to pay the foster parents, right? right? So w what happens if they say, okay, we're not, a, we can't, we're Catholics. We literally can't give them to gay parents. We won't do it. Mm -hmm. The question is, what will they do? Will they just say, okay, we're going to not take care of the kids and let them go to other agencies? Or are they going to bite the bullet mm -hmm. and find some way around it, like contract out another party? Mm -hmm. Like say, no, we're, we're sending them to this intermediary and they're going to adopt it out. Like, it's tricky. Like, who's going to be to blame? Who's going to blink? Right, that's true. Because I know the Catholic Charities, they don't want to abandon the kids, mm -hmm. I'm sure. But it's totally tricky of how they're, who's, how they're going to get around this. It is tricky. Yeah. yeah, and I'm curious to see what happens. But, you know, in the end, I think that they would bite the bullet. I think you're right about that. I don't think they will. I think that, or they'll have to find a way around. But they're not just going to say, okay, we're going to adopt a gay. We're not going to send those kids to gay couples. They can't do it. They're Catholics. They, That's so, they can't but do you know, it. the whole purpose of your organization is to help kids, you know? And sometimes you have to let go of your own biases in the name of these kids. If these kids are right now in foster homes and they want to be in a stable home where someone is going to take care of them and be true parents to them, why are you going to deny that to them because of your own biases? Yeah, I mean, you're making a totally rational argument. You know what yeah. they'll be is they'll be, like there frequently is, they'll be some radical priest.
Mm -hmm. Some priest will be like, hey, man, I, I got it. I don't think that gay people should get married either, but I'm... I'm going to allow them to adopt. Or he'll be like, yeah, look, I'm Catholic, and I still, I'm, I'm going to, I don't care. I, I, I don't agree with, with the stance, but they don't think that they're denying them a good home. They think they're denying them an unstable, radical home that's going to ruin the kid. That's what they actually think, and it's stupid, mm -hmm. but they're not thinking, oh, because I hate those gay people, I'm going to keep this kid out of this sure. good home. They're thinking, oh, i got to keep this good kid out of that evil home, and they're right. dumb for that. Well, they you could know? definitely do it if they didn't take the money. Then they can do whatever they want. Yeah. You know, theoretically. So the problem is the money. If you want to build a website or a blog, where do you go? You go to squarespace.com. With Squarespace, you don't need any coding experience. And the best part is you can even edit your website on your iPhone. They give you 24-7 support. Go to squarespace.com slash TYT and get a two-week trial for free.